history fans and welcome to Historian Reacts. I've basically been watching a lot of Arthur TV recently and like reaction shows like Dan Snow did it on History Hit and I realised I wanted to give it a go. So today we're going to be watching the first episode of Plebs which is a comedy series based in ancient Rome. So it's not a, like supposed to be a historically accurate TV show, it's just a funny one. But it might be accurate, you never know, we'll see. So it starts in 27 BCE. So what was actually happening in that year? Rome is already an empire. Emperor Augustus is in power. We've had the Battle of Actium and all the drama with Caesar and Cleopatra. It's the start of the Calabrian Wars and Rome's conquest of the Liberian Peninsula. Philippi, which is an important city in East Macedon, is given an apparently very important title, which is Colonia Loalius Augusta Philippensis. Augustus makes Gortin the Roman capital of the provinces in Crete and Cyrene, and Galatia is absorbed into the Roman Empire. With that being said, let's watch. Name? Marcus. Marcus what? Marcus Philippus Valerius Gallo. No, you're not on here. Okay, try Stylax Rufus Eurysikis. Don't think so. You might be down as a plus one. Who's plus one? I don't mind. Who have you got? Back off. You're not on the scroll, so it's ten each. Ten dinner. Okay, so Marcus Phillips Valerius Gallo does feel like an accurate Roman name, but there is an explanation as to why they had such long, complicated names. Obviously, some names came from a man's achievements, like Gaius, Julius, Caesar, Octavians, but the usual plebeian man's name just came from their first name, then a family na name, then you'd have one or two names to help differentiate what part of the family or what clan or what job you did within that family, and then you might have a nickname if you were lucky, or an honorary name. So my guess would be Marcus is his first name. Did he say Phillips or Phileas was his family name? And then Phyllis might be his branch or whatever part of his family or where he is in his family name. And then we have Gallo, which is possibly the nickname, but they may not have even based their names on like a real Roman system. So that's just a guess. But to be honest, Roman names are so confusing because within a family, most people would end up having the same first and second name. So it's then the third and fourth names that were actually used to help differentiate you from other members of your family. And Roman names are something that's really interesting if you're looking for something confusing to read up on, or if you want me to do a very long video explaining it, let me know in the comments and I can do that. Anyway. Let's continue. Not a thing. It's dead leather. Evening, ladies. You have yourselves a good night. Okay, so we sort of need to get in. Look, gents, I'm not sure this is a place for guys like you. Guys like us? What does that mean? Do I need to spell it out for you? Well, that seems just like today, doesn't it? The girls walking straight past the queue and all the men begging to pay loads of money to get in. We clearly haven't changed much, have we? If that's accurate. Um. But it possibly is accurate because the plebs or the plebeians were the commoners in ancient Rome, so they probably wouldn't have been able to afford to get into these clubs that they're trying to get into. I mean, the slaves certainly wouldn't have gone, so I don't know why Grumio is there. But I mean, Grumio is just a legend, isn't he? So he deserves to go. <laughs> I like those pigeonholes with the scrolls. That's good. Salve, Marcus. All right, landlord. Certainly am. Just got some new tenants fresh mm -hmm. off the boat. Salve. Bit of Latin. Love that. This place is a dump. Marcus, this is my slave, Metella. Hello. And goodbye. We're not staying here. Oh, no, really? What? No, no, stay. You should stay. It's dirtier than home since. Where's home? Britain, where we live in huts made of mud. So what could be dirtier than mud? Dog. Okay, like I get the Celtic huts might not be as brilliant as or equal to the Roman buildings, but they're not that horrific. I guess you might want the better Italian method though. So at this point though, Britain isn't actually part of the Roman Empire, so I'm not I'm not sure how often people would have just moved across, but I like the idea of it. If you are interested in when Britain became part of the empire, it was so Caesar first tried to invade in 55 slash 54 
slash 54 BCE, um, but he failed and it wasn't actually until the year 43, so then 43 AD or CE, that Emperor Claudius's invasion was successful and that's when Britain became part of the Roman Empire. So maybe then there was more like, I was going to say fluid motion of moving people, but I don't think that's the right word. Maybe people would have been moving anyway. I'm sure the Celts, they were spread across Europe, weren't they, to be fair. Have it done by tomorrow, if possible. Well, we'll try. If exactly try, and also succeed, because I will need it by then. So let's maybe have no talking in here. Okay. Straight back, water boy. Water man. Straight back! Now I'm assuming we're going to see a husband who actually owns the business, because obviously women in ancient Rome didn't really have that sort of power at all. They just tried their best to influence the men in their lives. But if that's her own business, then you go, girl. You go, girl. That's... I like the name Flavia. And to be fair, that character, I feel like that's what Agrippina the Younger would have been like. What about them Britons? Oh, gummy, oh, don't. I thought you said they were big boys. Big boys with breasts. I saw them first. Fit Britons? Fit Britons? The Britons? Ask them to... I like that. That was good. So this is the forum. Ah, oh, it's so romantic. I find it very romantic. It's a bit crowded. Britain's practically empty. We've never really been in the. Did you know that in the forum and just like in Rome itself, um, it was so busy that carts were banned during the day, and there were so so many fires because the way the buildings were. So there would be like rows and rows of buildings packed in and on the bottom floor you'd have like the cafes and the workshops all the fires and the kitchens and then you'd have flats of like the poor people and then flats of the rich people um so then when a fire started everyone was so packed in it was just like awful there were so many fires I don't, that's not a fact to smile about but i like the way they've um depicted the forum though that's cool and Marcus too. Hello. This is practically an office night out. <laughs> and is this your partner? No, no. That's um. There's no explanation for what that is. Shredder, this is my husband, Crassus. Oh, your husband? I thought we were. Ah, yeah. There's the husband that they're at, an orgy. which of course the Romans are famous for. But that that's not the kind of content we're going to cover on this channel. <laughs> that's not a topic that we'll delve into but I'm pretty certain that's probably quite accurate. The next episode is called The Gladiator rather than The Orgy, so we can probably react to a lot more of that one. That's good. And my slaves pee on my foot. At least we're in Rome, though. Oh, that was good. That was funny. I liked that. Look, I'm walking off in the distance. Well, that was my first reaction video. We'll see how that goes down. If you liked it, please let me know in the comments and let me know if there's any other shows I should react to or if there's anyone I should do it with and we can react to a show together. Let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you next week. Bye.